Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of、uh, Rubik's Academy Beginners、uh, Series for Stock Trading. Okay, so today we're going to talk about a very, very simple indicator. So simple that it's almost like the RSI. Okay, and this indicator is called the CCI, the Commodity Channel Index. Okay, as the name suggests, it was developed by this person called Donald Lambert. Okay, back、uh, I think in the nineteen eighties, if I'm not wrong, and it was actually designed to find out cyclical trends in the commodities market. All right. However, this indicator has evolved beyond the usage of just on、uh, commodities. It can also be used on forex. Uh, it can also be used on cryptocurrencies, and for myself, I like to use it on stocks, right? Which is why it's in this、uh, series. Okay, so this commodity channel index is so simple, it's so straightforward. I don't even need to go to the white pad. All right, I will just go straight to the chart. All right. So、uh, again, okay, let me just clear this. What you want to do is come here, click that. All right, search CCI. Okay, this one. Okay. And then you see this、uh, indicator right here. Okay, you're gonna pull that up. Okay, the buy signal is any time when the CCI, the index, the line crosses into the terrain above a hundred. Okay. Any time it crosses above a hundred, which is here. Okay. Around here. All right, is where you buy. At any time, when it comes back down below to below minus hundred, you sell. Let's say, for example, this line comes down, it cuts below, it closes below. All right, you sell. So this particular indicator can only be used to buy. That means it can only be used to go long. Okay, you cannot use it to short sell. In other words, if you use this particular indicator, you are only looking for long opportunities, okay, and you will not be looking for short selling opportunities. All right, you. I repeat, you will only be looking for long opportunities. You will not be looking for short sell opportunities. So there's only get in to buy, and after you buy, while you're holding onto the shares. The CCI will tell you when to let go of those shares. So, if you actually attend my、uh, sort of my courses on Udemy, all right, or on my own platform, you will know that I always tell the beginners that you should not be looking to short sell yet. If you are new to the capital markets, you should begin with the basics, which is doing long buys. That means you go long, you acquire shares and you sell away the shares. Don't do short short selling. All right. The exact reason is because you can go into debt with short selling. Okay, so that's why I say this strategy is very. This indicator is very beginner friendly because it only encourages long buying. It does not does not allow you to find an entry point for short selling. Okay. With that being said, ah,、uh, that's all from me. It's just three and a half minutes. Very short video. Thank you very much. My name is Jeffrey Lim. I am from Rubik's Academy. Download our app. Ah,、uh, purchase the full course if you want to,、uh, and I will see you in the course, or I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.